In this video, we're going to look at some applications of the primary trig ratios. And to do that, first we need to look at a couple of definitions. And so the first one is what we call the angle of elevation. So this is the angle when the sight line rises above the horizontal, and it's the angle formed between the horizontal and the sight line. So let me show you in this picture. So if this line is the horizontal, and this is the sight line, so where you're looking, then this angle in between here is what we call theta, or the angle of elevation. The next one is called the angle of depression. Okay, so this is when the sight line falls below the horizontal, so you're like looking down, um, for instance, from the top of a cliff to a boat in the ocean, and it's the angle that is formed between the sight line and the horizontal. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here you are at the top of a cliff right there. This would be the horizontal. And your sight line, you are looking down towards the boat right there. So this is the sight line. And then the angle would be formed between the sight line and the horizontal. Okay, so that's the angle of depression. Okay, and just a couple of other things to note. Um, another one is called the angle of inclination. So this is the angle between an incline. So you can see how this car is on an incline and the horizontal. So that would be referring to this angle in here. Um, the other thing that you might see sometimes is compass directions. Um, so the compass bearing is the direction towards which you are headed, as shown by the compass. So just to remind you that this would be north, east, south, west. Okay, so it starts north and goes clockwise. North, east, south, west. Okay, so those might come into play in some of our questions. Let's take a look at some questions. Okay, here we go, our first example. The base of a ladder is 0 0.8 meters from a building and is leaning against the side of a building to reach a window with a 72 degrees angle of inclination. Find how high up the window is on the building. So our first step is to draw a diagram. So let's start with our building. Okay, here's our ground right here. The building touches the ground, of course. We have a window. We have a ladder leaning up to the window, so this is my ladder. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, the base of the ladder is 0 0.8 meters from the building, so that means this side is 0 0.8 meters. This is obviously a right angle triangle. And our angle of inclination, okay, so that's this angle right here, is 72 degrees. And we want to find how high up the window is on the building. So we are looking for this length right here, and we're going to call that x. So taking a look at our reference angle here, we can see that from this reference angle, we have opposite and adjacent. So this is opposite and this is adjacent. So we're talking about tangent here, the tangent ratio. So let's set it up. We have tan 72 degrees equals opposite, which is x, over adjacent, which is 0 0.8, and we're working in meters. So go ahead, pause the video, and solve for that. Okay, so you're going to do tan 72 times 0 0.8, and we're going to round to one decimal place, and you should get about 2.5. Therefore, the window is 2.5 meters on the building. Okay, let's try another one. A hiker can see a forest ranger tower four kilometers due north of his position. He can see another tower that he knows is five kilometers east of the first tower. From the hiker's position, what is the angle between the two towers? Okay, so if this is our hiker, Okay, exactly four kilometers due north. Okay, remember that this is, of course, north straight up. Due north just means perfectly north. So this is four kilometers right here. He sees tower one, we'll call it. Okay, and five kilometers east. So remember, east is over to the right on our diagram. This is east over here. So we'll call this tower two. 
and this distance right here is five kilometers. Okay, he can see the other tower. So here's our nice little triangle. Makes a right angle triangle, not to scale, of course. And we're looking for the angle between the two, the, between the two towers from the hiker's position. So we're looking for this angle right in here. Okay, so again, from our here's our reference angle. From here, we have opposite over adjacent. So we are again O over A, which is again tangent. So we're going to set it up as tan theta equals opposite, which is 5, over adjacent, which is 4. But this time, of course, we're solving for theta. So try your best to pause the video, see if you can solve for theta on your own. Okay, so I'm going to punch in 5 divided by 4 on my calculator, and then second function, tangent, and you can round to the nearest degree here, or one decimal is fine, but you should get about 51 degrees. And then you just write a therefore statement. Therefore, the angle between the two towers is 51 degrees. All right, one more. A small plane is flying at an altitude of 3,500 meters over Lake Ontario toward an island. The angle of depression to the island is 15 degrees. How much farther to the nearest kilometer does the plane need to fly before it is above the island? Okay, so let's start with this is our plane flying. Here we have Lake Ontario. Okay, it's flying at an altitude of 3,500 meters. So this would be... 3,500 meters, or 3.5 kilometers, your choice. You can work in whatever, okay? Trying to get to an island. This is my island over here, okay? So the plane is flying towards the island. We have the angle of depression. So remember, angle of depression is from the horizontal, sorry, horizontal. So this is 15 degrees to the sight line, right? So this is our sight line. And we want to know how much further to the nearest kilometer. So note we are working in kilometers. So you will want to write this as 3.5 kilometers. Uh, note that, of course, is the same as this, which is 3.5 kilometers. This creates our right angle triangle. And we want to know how much further does the plane need to fly before it is above the island, right? So until the plane is right here, basically, so we want to know this distance right here. Okay, and hopefully you can see our right angle triangle right here. Okay, and we have our 15 degrees, we have our x, and we have our 3.5, so let's go ahead and set up our ratio. Okay, relating the three, if this is our reference angle right here, then we know that if we're pointing at our reference angle, we have opposite over adjacent, so we're dealing with tangent. Okay, so tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. That's our TOA, right? Let's set it up. We have tan of 15 degrees equals 3.5 kilometers over x. So go ahead, pause the video. Make sure you can solve for x by yourself. Okay, so rounded to the nearest one decimal place, I got 13.1, and therefore the plane needs to fly 13.1 kilometers to be above the island. Okay, so you're going to practice a few of these. Good luck.